हेलो एवरीवन I fell in love with 85 millimeters almost 10 years ago when I bought a beautiful 85 Zeiss lens for the A mount. And today here I have the 85 millimeters f1.4 GM for the F mount to unbox. 85 millimeters is a very common focal length for portraits, but I'm a landscape photographer and I use telephoto lenses for a very specific use case. As I mentioned in the 135mm unboxing, I use them for panoramas. Let's open it, shall we? first open the Zeiss 85 millimeters and I looked into the lens inside. Does anyone love doing it? Especially with 85 because the picture is so big. I just want looks great. It looks beautiful. It's it's the perfect size. It's the perfect lens. It's not too big, like the 135 that is as big as this. But it just makes it look a little bit wonky. It's just the perfect size. It's beautiful. The lens hood has a nice finish inside, which prevents lights from bouncing off and getting into the lens. Let's check focus. I'm at 1.4. It's not nearly as fast as the 7200 or the 135, which are super fast. And it's quite noisy. It's not as noisy as the Zeiss 85 that I have on Alpha Mount, which is a mechanical lens. Well, this is an SSM focus system. It doesn't bother me at all. Let me try a bit of closed aperture. You get substantially slower still for my applications it doesn't bother me but this is not a lens for fast action that's for sure I try it even closer like let's do f11 all oh, this is focus hunting now not too bad but you can feel it that it gets slower and slower and louder and louder the more you close the aperture Back to f1.4, yeah, that's reasonable. And that's where I expect a portrait photographer to use the most between f1.4 and f4. For studio, it's perfectly fine. For landscapes, it's fine, because I would manual focus it anyway. Just focus hold button, and out of focus and manual focus switch. Filter thread size is 77 millimeters. Minimum focus distance is 85 centimeters or 2.79 feet. Then we've got the clicking here. It makes the aperture ring very smooth. Usable for videos. Not much application in landscapes. Maximum aperture is f16. Overall, it's 
beautifully built lens. All metal, again, like every other GM that I have. It just feels nice, it's not too heavy. And according to what I read online, is a beautiful lens for bokeh. If you're a portrait photographer, it's just fantastic. The reason why 85 millimeters is a very good focal length for panoramas is because it gives you that really, really good vertical field of view. 50 millimeters tends to be too wide. 135, 200 tends to be a little bit too short. I still use them. 85 millimeters is, in my opinion, the perfect balance for a three frames panorama. If I want a panorama that is more horizontal, I tend to reach for 135, 200. Beautiful lens. I'm gonna retire my Zeiss 85 millimeters with a little bit of a tear in my eyes. I love that lens dearly. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because you like the video, right? That went pretty well today. Thank you very much. See you next time.